Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you all how I achieve another braid out on my hair. However, this time we are actually going to be using some heavy oils and butters. I, over like a couple of years ago, probably now, I had went to a hairstylist and she was telling me how using a lot of heavy oils and butters on your hair can make your hair resistant to um, basically like straightening your hair. So you know how your hair like poofs sometimes when you straighten it? She was like, your hair is just like so used to having like a lot of heavy oils and butters however a part of me used to feel like and maybe still feel like when i was using a lot of heavy oils and butters my hair sometimes just it seemed like it lasts longer it had like a little bit more shine to it I don't know this is what's going on in my head so I'm just testing it out today and you all get to kind of see with me is there actually like a difference between using heavy oils and butters so I'm stitching off my hair and today I'm going to be using the curl stretch pudding along with this Jamaican black castle okay and I'm just mixing this concoction in the container by the way these products are old okay you all know I'm in the business of never wasting products because if I paid for it or somebody else paid for it, it has to be used okay so I didn't buy any new products for this video today I'm just using products I already had on the shelf I'm making sure I really, really rub those products into my hair strands. Whenever I use thicker products, it needs a lot of heat from the hand motions, the bring your hands method to really seep into the hair strands. Typically, I am able to see when my hair is soaking in the moisture by whether or not my curls are trying to pop, whether the curl definition is really just trying to come. I am going on top of my hair with the Mousse Dev because I kind of find this product to give myself like a slight hold so that it actually lasts all week I'm going to go in and do my same method that I like to do with my braid outs with having that section on the bottom and splitting the top part into two sections and I'm going to make sure I braid very very tightly down to the ends because of course I'm using larger sections just because you have larger sections does not mean you have to sacrifice definition so that is what I'm going to do for the rest of these plaits course you want to make sure you stick a plait right in the middle of your head to avoid the annoying middle part and just to have some hair strands just hanging straight down in the back. Here's what the back is looking like. I had eight sections in the back and I made sure I had at least two plaits that were in the center of my head. Moving on to the front, as you all probably saw in the beginning of the video, I did not go for a middle part. So the side of the head that I'm working on now is the side that does not have as much hair. I'm following the same routine with adding these products to, to my hair and making sure I work it through with my Tangle Teaser brush just to make sure that the products are evenly distributed as well as no tangles being left in my hair. And I am still going to plait as tightly as possible. The front of my head is very, very prone to getting frizzy the fastest fastest is like the front and also like the center so I try to make sure that I am being very very careful to make sure that I am being um, intentional about plaiting my hair as tight as possible When you get to the front sections, you do want to go ahead and smooth some of that product in and kind of start sleeking your edges down just so that the molding process will pretty much have already been done by the time you get up under the dryer. I 
I ended up with three plaits on the smaller section and five on the larger section in the front so I have a total of 16 plaits and I am going to sit up under the dryer. If you want this hairstyle to go by much faster I do have videos where I have did 10 braids and 12 braids as well. Here we are the very next day. Actually I think I kept these probably like two days okay y'all I was like really trying to see what this definition was gonna look like so this is probably like two days later. So I am going ahead and taking out these plaits as you all know if you find a place in the plait where you have one strand that's on the outside in one hand and the other strand that's on the outside you can literally pull those bad boys apart and make the takedown process a lot easier for yourself. Whenever I am separating my hair I like to move my fingers down the length of my hair and I only separate where the hair naturally wants to separate. One thing that I am noticing about my hair is like here like I can visibly see that my hair is shiny but I also feel like my hair does the same thing when I use lighter products that does not that do not have a lot of heavy oils and butters in the first five ingredients so so far I'm not seeing a huge huge difference but I'm still enjoying the results of this braid out As you are removing the plaits it is very important to kind of just like fluff your hair shake it out a little bit see how the hair naturally wants to fall if you're like me and sometimes your hair gets very frizzy in the front you can just not like separate it all in the front or separate at least like one time but don't do too much if you already know it's gonna cause frizz because honey you want it to last as long as possible without having to restyle but just give your hair just a gentle um, fluff a gentle shake and you'll really really see that definition and just let the hair fall naturally in place so here's what my hair is looking like once I have removed everything as you all can see in the front section on the larger side I got a little bit of frizz but I'm not mad about it because I'm just trying to make this look as natural as possible but I am going to go ahead and do a little something to these edges um, for the week so I added a little bit of water and I'm going to add some edge booster right on top and I'm just going to make sure I smooth that into place one thing about edge booster honey is you only need to apply one time and it's stuck in place for the rest of the week Trust me, I know whenever I have tried to move my hair when it has been slicked down, I always have to reapply water or actually go wash my hair um, to be able to maneuver it. So that's pretty much what I am doing here. And here is the final look. I am actually super, super thrilled, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think braid outs are taking a cake for me. I used to be like a twist out girly, but I just love the definition that I can get from a braid out with only like 10 to 16 braids. I'm not mad about it. And of course, I wanted you all to see what my hair looked like by the end of the week. And trust me not mad about it at all do i think there's a difference between like heavy oils and butters versus like lighter products i'm sure there's like some scientific things behind it but i have been using like really good shampoos and conditioners like olaplex and things like that so i'm not sure exactly what's making the difference but of course i'm going to keep experimenting and i'll keep you all updated as always i hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful and i can't wait to see you in the next one see ya Thank you.